Today we're putting these two bestsellers to test, Herba Pura from Sergeuf versus Kirke by Tiziana Terenzi. So if you want to know which one is the chosen one, then make sure you stay on this video. Hi, my name is Amanda and in case you're new here, welcome to my channel in case you're returning. So glad you're back. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you put the thumb, thumbs up, hopefully, and make sure you comment on my video. I, I love to interact with you and also make sure you go down to my description box and follow me on Instagram. Stay connected on all social media channels and also make sure you let me know what kind of videos you would like to watch because we are all about luxury fragrances but also slash and beauty content so I'm always happy to know what kind of content you wish for. But let's get right into the video because this one is an important one. Why important is because we're heading to springtime. I mean, I like to say so. I cannot wait when winter is over. And we're looking for spring perfumes. And one of the recurring spring perfumes that a lot of people love is Kirke or is Herbapura these two beauties right there and everyone knows that they smell kind of the same I have been loving them for years and actually switched them up last year Kirke was like my one of my most worn spring and summer fragrances and I'm really loving it and I've recently repurchased this beauty which is Herbapura and so I thought why not make a video comparison and just telling you straight up which one I prefer I've also did a wear test yes a wear test perfume wear test on a piece of clothes so i will be letting you know right now or later in this video which one lasted longer and we're gonna go straight to all the facts but before we start let's go ahead into the notes and by who these beauties are created so kirke is by tiziana terenzi which is a very famous italian brand that is um, created by if i'm not mistaken a brother and a sister duo and they are very very known for their um DNA, so all of their perfumes kind of carry a similar DNA. This is a very rich, fruity, musky fragrance, and I'm gonna let you know the top notes as the middle notes and the base notes. So we're gonna do this for both of the perfumes at the same time, so you can really see the comparison. This one is Herba Pura, which is a very well-known perfume that is Part, like this part of the velvet collection if I'm not mistaken from Sardov which is also an Italian brand and I mean if we just look at the bottle it's absolutely stunning this is a 50 ml and this is 100 ml so I personally prefer to get smaller bottles but uh, they don't have a, um, a smaller one and we're gonna go to the price a little bit later and then at the end we're gonna do conclusion but let's start with the top notes so for the top notes for um Kirke, we have passion fruit, peach, raspberry, cassis, pear, warm, warm scent. Okay, and then for Arapura, we have the head notes or the top notes are orange, lemon from Sicily. Okay, so these are only like citrusy top notes, so they're not the same top notes. Then the middle notes is lily of the valley, so it comes with one heart note or one middle note. Kirke, right? Then if we go back to hard notes and the middle notes of this beauty is Fruity Basket from the Mediterranean. So on search of website, they actually don't state exactly which fruits that they use. I will go to Fragrantica.com go to fragrantica.com in a little bit so we can check if they have some information but I have actually communicated notes before that were not really in line with the actual notes so we'll have to see that with um carefulness and then we go to the base notes so the base notes here are heliotrope sandalwood vanilla patchouli and mask and so this is comes in 100 ml and i'm gonna let you know in a little bit how much this retails to and then this one is the base notes are white mask and amber so if we look at the notes they don't really seem one to one but when you add the perfume when you smell the perfume we can definitely see some similarities and what it really does in in whole smell of so this perfume or these perfumes remind of a fruity basket with some musky and ambery undertones so if you're a person that is looking for like a spring or summer perfume that smells very fresh and very fruity that really remembers you like of the sun rays this is how it makes me feel at least then you are looking for a little bit more and you're looking for a little bit more of a I don't know refined fragrance that smells a little bit musky like me because i don't really like just like fruity fragrance it has to have some depth it has to have some muskiness to it you know i like my strong fragrances then these two are definitely something for you 
So if we're going to the size again, this is 100 ml. This comes actually in a 50 ml and in a 100 ml and it retails on the third of universe for 150 euros for a 50 ml and for, let me check, um, let me just double check. Um, the 100 ml is... Two hundred twenty to two hundred twenty euros for hundred ml. So you're getting better off if you purchase hundred ml because you you save basically eighty to eighty euros when purchasing hundred ml because hundred fifty ml is. Um, it's 150 so actually i got robbed <laughs> i didn't get robbed but i mean i purchased this off another website that is closer to me um of a local site and so obviously i paid more but honestly i don't mind i just yeah i should have minded actually anyways we're happy with the purchase let's let's go it on but what i meant to say is i like to purchase smaller bottles simply because if it's a perfume like this a summer perfume you better bet i'm gonna travel with it and 100 ml is really really difficult to travel with especially if you have hand luggage and you just want to go for a short trip if you live in europe you know that it's very very common that you just go for a short trip and you don't want to have checked in luggage so that was my first concern but if you have the money to spend on get 100 ml because you basically pay almost the same money on like wholesalers but always make your research Always remember, I link all the this like all the shopping links. I link them all below, and they're actually affiliate links, so you don't pay more. But I just get a small percentage off, which is quite nice. So if there's a perfume that I inspire you to buy, always check out my links because I always link them, and it takes quite some time. But I'm more than happy to do that, and I'm more than happy if you purchase with a link from me. So these are the prices for Evapora. So you see, it's like a pricey category. But again, if you compare it to um, the 50 ml, then you might be better off buying the 100 ml. I have not thought about this, but anyways. So if we go to Kirke, Kirke actually comes only in 100 ml, and I have to check because. Um, it doesn't really get look if i go the first page if you're like um not shown in euro so i can give you the approximate price what i have like in front of my eyes right now and you can purchase this for around i would say 130 to 150 euros you might even get it cheaper but be careful because for both of these perfumes there are a lot of fakes out there so make sure you purchase this of a very trusted seller so if we come to the conclusion of the price then kirke is cheaper because this is 100 ml so you get this for the same price than this for the 50 ml so it's basically double the price does it make sense to you let's go on so when it comes to um when it comes to the scent so now we've talked about the notes we talked about the price let's come to the scent and for me to really explain it to you i would like to put both of those on my skin i don't like to give you a full review when i've just smelled it on the paper so by side by side i will be adding here kirke and here Herbapura, and then i'm going to show you what uh and then we're going to go over to the longevity so first of all we're going to spray kirke which was one that i um was obsessed with and actually um this is as this is described as an extra parfum so what it means is that the perfume concentration is a lot higher you can already smell it it's a lot higher than the um um alcohol content so means means normally that the perfume also stays longer this is always really difficult to take off by the way and then we go ahead here which we add herbapura so this is described as just an eau de parfum so no particular clarity in terms of like if it's an extra or concentration so right away I can tell you that the first thing that I get from Kirke is a very, very sweet pier note. When I compare it with Herbapura, right away what I'm getting is citrusy notes. And I think you have to be very careful because when you spray a perfume first, you immediately smell the alcohol. And when it has citrusy notes, it's a little bit difficult to detect, uh, detect, detect if you really like it because I feel like citrusy notes and alcohol you know that, that just gives you the immediately feeling oh it's a little bit too you can smell the alcohol a lot so please wait a little bit uh, of a moment and please wait for it to develop because it's a very beautiful fragrance 
so I made previous videos where I said I purged like there was moments where I preferred this one and I have to be honest with you there's moments when I prefer this one and then there's other moments when I prefer to wear this one so last year I was really wearing this like in summer in spring and I'm just gonna try to describe to you a little bit the fragrance so it is very sweet and fruity so if you're a person that loves sweet fragrances and you love something heavy this for me is also a great date night fragrance for me this is a you know a lot of times a man or like your husband or your boyfriend or i don't know whoever you're with you love to and a lot of people really like sweet fragrances on women and this is sweet but it still has a depthness it has the um it has the tiziana terenzi dna so you can really really i can really like smell the the, the pure and then the more it goes on I actually smell a little bit of a musky feel so it is a really really gorgeous fragrance so if you're looking for like a more of a sweeter musky fruity baskety kind of fragrance then you love this if you don't like pure then you need to stop right here because for me this is the most dominating note of all the notes that I can smell so now that we waited a little bit let's go over to Herbapura so for me the biggest difference so if I would have to tell you with my nose and with my feel of it for me, the biggest similarity of them is the base. So there's a, like a musky, like a very um, powdery musky, a sensual base note and the sensual base of the fragrance. And then you smell the fruitiness. But what is different with this one is that here, like the really like the peer dominates and here it's more of a citrusy fragrance that dominates. I have the feeling that the notes on Evapora are actually more refined if I now smell them together. Um, they're more refined so you can really smell like the citrusiness and then after it settles you can smell the fruity basket a little bit more and then it's like when the base notes come through. Here I would say this is sometimes has a little bit more depth because of the sweetness so it's a little bit more strong. I would actually say it's a little bit more gourmand like you really feel like it smells like a fruity cake not a cake but it just is a little bit more on the edible side and a little bit more of the sweet side for me this is more on the elegant sophisticated side this actually reminds me of when the spring starts so when you know like when it starts getting warm outside when you hear the birds chirping when you start wearing a light jacket and you just feel the sun on your skin this is what i would want to wear this is what i would welcome spring with this is actually gonna be my bachelorette um, perfume i like to be sophisticated and smell like spring and just smell like summer so this one is absolutely beautiful then we get we go over to this one for me this one is more like a spring night kind of fragrance because it smells very sweet so i would say this is a very like um, essential fragrance this also this other one but just because it's a little bit more sweet a little bit more pure this is a little bit more of a fun fragrance that you wear like after work for example and it's very very sweet so the sweetness pure really comes through but it's not a cheap sweetness if you know what i mean the girls that get it get it so <laughs> but this is like the biggest difference so when people say they're absolutely similar, I can understand that and I really had this expression, uh, impression, especially when you don't own them at the same time, when you don't try them at the same time, because you just remember the smell, so you think like, oh, they're actually similar, but they are not. This is sweeter. Kirke, for me, is sweeter, it's more deeper in the sense of sweetness, there's more peer. Here, there's more sophistication, there's more elegance, there's more citrusy, um, especially at the top. But let's go over to longevity. So both, all people are agreeing that these two are, what do you call that? I forgot the name. You are beast mode fragrances. That means that they last so long. Now that we covered the price, we covered the comparison, we're going over to a very, very important fact, like I said, longevity. What I like to do is I actually spray them on clothes, so but you have to really remember where you put them. So I actually used my robe because I felt like my morning robe, which I'm obsessed with, <laughs> is a really good example because the tissue is very thick. I feel like um, scents really last longer on a fine um, 
tissues like for example this jumper i feel like scents sometimes last for ages so i really wanted to make hard for these fragrances because we already know it lasts long so when it lasts on the skin i actually have to say that i feel like herba Cura lasts a little bit longer um just because i've tried them out yesterday i put them on the left and i put them on the right and i just had the feeling that it lasts longer but as we all know you can get olfactive fatigue and i wear this fragrance a lot so i was not sure whether i really really stopped smelling it just because I'm used to the fragrance or because it really was gone so what I did I actually on the left side I put Kirke and on the right side I put Evapor and I double checked it wrote it down so I'm not going to give you any wrong information by the way I'm very sorry for the light I'm just sitting in front of a window so that's why I might a little bit change a little bit anyways so now it's been over 24 hours i've actually sprayed it on the um jumper on the probe yesterday midday so it's way over 24 hours so let's check i've checked actually after 10 hours in the evening um this a little bit less than 10 hours but i checked in the morning today and it actually smelled still so that's a really good sign and let's check so with if we go to the right arm and we're gonna smell you can still smell it not a lot but i didn't spray a lot but you can smell it so this is herba pura and what i get from it is really like the musky base with a slight note of fruitiness so when i go on to the other arm so i'm gonna search for it i can smell it but very very slightly and what i can tell from this smell is actually more the peach note So what's actually staying from the um, Kirke fragrance is the peach note and it's slightly less. So I'd say an overall capacity of long, of long lasting power of the fragrance when it comes to lasting power, then I would say Herbapura is the winner over here. And um, this is also really long lasting, but I would definitely say that this lasts longer. If you would just look at the facts, you probably would have said this lasts longer since it's a bit sweeter and it's an extra. So normally that would mean that it lasts longer. So what is the conclusion that we have today of this fragrance? Which one should you get? Which one is better? To be honest, this is very, very individual. I think both of them are good. I think they're both amazing. And I think that it really depends what mood you're in. And it also depends what is your favorite fragrance profile. Although they smell extremely, extremely similar. Um, definitely very, very similar. So if you don't have the other, you probably think that they are the same, but they're not. This one does open up a little bit more with like a like um, citrusy notes. And this one has a little bit more of a pure sweeter notes so if you love if you're looking for one that's a little bit more sweeter i would highly recommend you get this one if you're looking for something that's a little bit more smells a little bit more sophisticated a little bit more elegant and has some of a citrusy note to it i would recommend this one if you're looking for a better price price to quantity then you probably go for this one since this is 100 ml and is around the same price as this but you always get really good price offers for this one but again make sure you go and buy this from trusted sellers because a lot of people actually sell fake perfumes which is horrible i know but it's the truth so which one would i choose um to be honest this changes last year I would have told you or maybe i have i prefer this one this year i actually prefer this one and i can let you know why i just feel like Although a lot of people say it's popular, I don't care. If you love a fragrance, I'm gonna wear it. I just feel like this is just a perfect spring and summer fragrance. For all of those people who don't who love like normally very heavy fragrances, oud, musk, amber, woody fragrances like me, and um, we just want something different. And this is a very fruity fragrance. And again, I wanna this is a very weak spray, by the way. I just really really enjoy wearing this it just reminds me again of the first spring day you're walking around and also the bubble is really beautiful it doesn't really matter to be honest but um i love that it comes in a 50 ml even though i just told you I didn't do a great deal with it because i purchased a smaller bottle for almost the same price as this 100 ml but i wanted this bottle to be able to travel with me because this would be a fragrance i would love to travel around just because i think it's very appropriate especially if you're doing summer trips european summer also like if you go far away 
And what I also really love is the refined um, part of this, of this fragrance. I also think this would be a great option for people who normally are like design, like prefer designer fragrances, just because of the scent profile. I think a lot of designer fragrances smell very fruity, have a bit of a floral touch to it, or like a little bit of a musky touch to it. So I think this would be, this is very, this is for me a very, crowd pleaser because it has a citrusy aspect it has a fruity aspect and it still has the musky base and that's why i really really love this fragrance so i think at the end it might be a budget question because you think what can i like what can i have more for my money but i always recommend rather save a little bit more or rather wait a little bit more or rather go for the smaller one if you really really love a fragrance because honestly you don't want to make a compromise when it comes to something that you have to save for or something that you don't cannot purchase all the time so i really really recommend you if you really really love this fragrance then get it even though it's like half the bottle that's just my way of viewing a perfume nevertheless you're not gonna get go wrong with it again if you are more of a sweeter girl and you love you're all sweet girls but if you prefer more of a sweeter perfume more of a perfume that like you know has a little bit more depth to it in this in the way that it's just um you know the scent profile that means for me that it is more is sweeter it's a little bit more yeah i would say going out kind of fragrance and then i would recommend this one but if this is also going out fragrance but for me this is more of the, for the people that love like an elegant sophisticated kind of fragrance not that this is this is not but i know a lot of people that love powdery fragrances that will probably think this is too sweet and this is a little bit too much also if you get headaches from very fruity and very sweet fragrances then this is probably not the one but yeah this was it let me tell you down below which one is your favorite or which one you want to go for definitely let me know if if you get one of those and i hope you enjoyed this video it's actually one that i will do more versus perfumes they don't have to smell exactly the same but they can be perfumes that i like equally so let's put them to the test if you have a fragrance that you want me to put to the test then let me know below and i see you next time <music>